Hi guys, this is my biome project, and today I'll be talking about the marine biome. So, what is a biome in the first place? A biome is a large, naturally occurring community of flora and fauna, occupying a major habitat. Below, I have shown a diagram of major biomes in the world. What is the marine biome? The marine biome is divided into four zones. First, there is the intertidal zone. The area that is above water at low tide and underwater at high tide and between the two is the intertidal zone. The pelagic zone, aka open ocean zone, is the surface of the sea almost to the bottom but not the floor. The abyssal zone is a layer of the pelagic zone, very dark, cold, and lack of sunlight makes it so that the organisms living in these regions have to rely on heavy nutrients that sink from the surface and above. It is aphobic since no photosynthesis occurs. The benthic zone, which is the fourth zone, is the lowest level of the ocean. It begins at the shoreline, or the intertidal area, then extends downward along the surface out to the sea. So, in the last slide, I talked about the photic and aphotic zones. What do these mean? The photic zone is where light comes through and photosynthesis can occur. A photic zone is where very little to no light comes through and photosynthesis can't occur. Below, I've shown pictures of these areas and I thought the A photic zone looked very cool. Organisms that live in the marine biome include fish, jellyfish, stingrays, whales, seals, sharks, and many more. I've also shown a picture to the left. Talking about a specific organism in this environment and biome are seals. Seals are vertebrates because they have a backbone. Seals are endotherms because they can maintain their own body heat and generate their own. This helps them to survive in frigid temperatures and battle cold winters. Human footprint on the marine biome. Overfishing, pollution, chemical waste, and oil are one of the many contributors of a negative human footprint that we have contributed to in the past 200 years. In many ways, the ocean has become a dump for trash, and wildlife in the affected areas have become infected and died in millions. Nonprofit organizations like WWF and the Oceanic Preservation Society are helping to preserve our waters before they become more or less an ocean of waste. Here are my sources. I used Google, Google Images, Wikipedia, and sciencelearn.org. Thank you.